You're watching ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. Well, it's been nearly a week since a water do not drink advisory shut to, just about shut down a, an entire D.C. neighborhood and D.C. water still doesn't even know how it happened. Now the discovery of motor oil in the drinking water prompted a three day do not drink advisory and that forced many residents to stay in hotels while businesses struggle to stay open. Seven is on your side tonight uh, with Chris Paps, who went looking for answers. Chris, what did you find? Well, there's a good chance that D.C. Water may never find out exactly how this happened, which the assistant general manager said that's not only hard to accept, but it's very concerning because it could happen again. It could have been really literally anything. For D.C. Water's Charlie Kiley, the last week, has been frustrating. Do you have any idea at this point where that petroleum came from? No. As soon as the water in the Shaw neighborhood of D.C. began to smell like gas, D.C. water began searching for the source. The obvious first suspect was the water main break the day before at 12th and F Streets, which shut down part of the metro. But nothing was found there. Next, D.C. Water inspected local gas stations and construction sites. A big task. Current D.C. government documents obtained by 7 On Your Side I team show 12 permitted construction sites in or very near the advisory area that affect water and sewage. But again, nothing was found. That led to the current search. A lot of things hypothetically can happen, but uh, generally speaking, we think we'd, we would deal with a cross connection in one of a, a larger building. Water lines are pressurized, meaning contaminants can't just leak in. The pipe has to be cut or there has to be a backflow from a connecting line, which may never be found. If this happened once, what's stopping it from happening again? We agree. I need to understand what happened to the best of our ability. And so we're not going to stop until either we can't find out what happened, we don't know what we were dealing with, uh, but we're going to continue to search until we can at least get an answer. Now, the contaminated water is being tested. The results of that are due sometime in January. And one more point that is, that is very important here. Yesterday, we spoke to businesses and owners who lost a lot of customers and therefore a lot of money due to that water advisory, and they want to be reimbursed. Now, Keeley told me, depending on the results of the investigation and who is found to be at fault, action could <clears throat> be taken. Chris Pabst, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks, Chris.